See, I want it to be on all the time and be able to turn the light on and light, light on and off. But I want my security camera to stay on. That's the whole thing. Of course, I guess I could, since I'm doing all this rewiring, I could. Uh, that one has a plug that's been wired to it. That's good. The lights would be hanging that way, but that actually wouldn't hurt a thing. That's exactly how it's how uh, it's meant to be mounted like that, of course. But I would be mounted like that. Then I'd have more light. I'd put two bulbs in it. But my security camera, if I wired in a, a plug, I just realized I could wire in a plug and then come off that plug to a light instead of using that adapter. Now that I'm all uh, doing this, I've always wished I had a plug in that area that I could reach. But I never wanted to do all the work. You know, I think I swear I tried doing that. No, I guess not. I thought I wired a plug up to that once and it didn't work. And I thought, well, maybe it's only switched on one leg. That's just a switch on one leg, but you know, there's only two wires coming out of that Romex. It's got to be a hot, and it's a black and a white, and a ground. There's a real ground in there, but it ain't going anywhere. I'm going to go stick the meter on it, but uh, it should be, uh, you know, both sides. Hot, hot and a common. Let's go over there and look. Where's my wiring? This must be two. I can't tell if I'm. Oh, I think that might be it. No. Oh, it looks like a piece of coat hanger, but I think it might be. See, I can't go over there. I was going to go over there. I keep thinking, oh, I'll just go over there and stand, but that ain't going to help. That is the wire, I guess. Oh, it is. It just doesn't. It looks like a piece of coat hanger to me in this screen. That's the wire. Okay. So, uh, I'm not. Tripod is going down. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of what I have that would be easiest. The plug box would be might not be that big of a deal. But uh, see, I'm not that tall. Okay, there. Electrical. This was the first thing I had in mind. This one, this fixture is fine, but the, uh, the reflector won't stay on there. The little thread, it has threads on the plastic, and there's two reflectors there. I was actually thinking of using something like this. And there's another one. Oh, yeah, I guess, the I guess the reflector don't want to stay on that either. No. I think one of them has a bad switch, though. Oh, it's this red one. The switch went bad, I think. Yeah, the switch is bad on the red one, that's why. Because I used to use it all the time, and I knew I'd put it, put it in there. Uh, it's the other one that I just wasn't using. I don't think there's actually anything. Get rid of that black tape. Anything wrong with it, that switch feels like it's good. But we need a place to plug it in. So... 
all needs a new switch. This one, I actually would like to have one of these out for use. You know, the only problem, yeah, the uh, just a very little bit of threads and the reflectors won't stay on there. Very good. Those reflectors really help focus the light. They also blind you. That one over there that's on, it blinds me every time I look that direction. Okay, so now I know where those are. I don't want those for this, so I don't think. No, I don't. Unless I was to just pl put a plug box up there and plug one of those into it. That is one idea. Okay. Let's don't give up on that idea yet. Let me see about testing the... Let's see. Let's get that light. I don't know which is better. I've already got the, got the wire nuts on there. Yeah, this is actually, you get a quick instant, if you just touch two wires, you get an instant light on to tell you. Yeah, it came on. I probably had me in the way there, so you can see it. Corey can see that light either. But yeah, when you flip the switch, it comes on. You flip the switch, and, and I tried it without this, with the switch off, and it didn't come on. So it's just normal AC power. I have plug boxes up there in the front of the garage. Do I want to go that far? That's not really I optimal. Uh, this thing, it never. Uh, Turn it around here where I can really see what I'm doing. Well, no, let's, let's stay here. I can actually stand here. <coughs> this thing, unless it's like this, it's what it's meant to be. It doesn't want to turn it off right. You know, if you get it off to the side, it'll work. But but what happens is this is you know this can only screw in wherever it happens to hit. And uh, if it's like that or. Let's see, how would it be? Well, it was going to be like that, but it, what, the way it ended up was like that, or it was more like that. And it really, it'll break them when you try to, a lot, when you try to keep using them like that. So you can just tie a string on that. The one in the middle of the garage has got one on it, but it's hanging straight down. It's been there for years. But uh, they're not the, they're pretty good. I would say they're not the best switches. They put it stand up pretty good considering... <laughs> The, you know the way they end up being used but it doesn't matter when you put it in that way because it's always going to be pointing the optimal direction to pull it so it was really just a quick fix and the reason I was planning on doing that so uh, thinking now that why, if I got to do all this work I might as well I, th I, I might as well do add a plug box over there let's see I'm going to do that. I'd have to have some more Romex. It's actually got a bunch of extra Romex right there, doesn't it? I could cut, run it up to the where the light's going to be, and then let me put those. I'm pretty sure I don't want, other than maybe now that I know where that stuff is, I might want to uh, let's go up a little higher here. I'm so what I can be showing what it is I'm going to be thinking about. Uh, I can shut that door since I'm cold. shut the door. I got a feeling this is going to be a two day project so that means it'll be a three or four day. Huh. There's a bolt come out of that. I don't know if that showed up when it went by but there's a bolt come out of that garage. Let's see.
Um, you missed so many games. So this is an old, one of those kind of live loves. Yeah, it's not, it went bad, and I always wanted to t take it apart and make a video of it. And I never did that. It's a new. Oh, that's my old uh, windshield washer parts. I put a kit in it, tried to fix it, but it didn't. Okay, so now I was thinking. fuel that I just used it. We had a power out all day what, a month ago. Within a month ago, uh, we were having, cooking on our common stove. That's why I have it out over there. I can't find it moving around. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to size up what I want to hang up there. I've got all that cord on the floor driving me freaking crazy. Pulled all that cord out because I was gonna be. I wanted to have plenty of cord to go outside with. You know? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm tired of walking on it. Normally, half time I trip over stuff like that anyway. I haven't been tripping. I've just been stepping on it and not being comfortable. Uh, doing that. So, uh, I'm going to hang it back up there where I keep it. It's doing a very good wrapping job, but I'm not that worried about it. I just want to get it out of my way. There. You know, I'm used to, I'm, when I used to work for a living, <laughs> My hands, we kept, we didn't leave cords where you're walking on them and stepping on them and like that. So uh, I'm used to keeping a safe and not well, kind of tidy shop. Actually, we used to. Okay, now here's what I'm thinking. I do have that flip switch. I can replace this uh, push button switch with, although it might not be any better. But if I'm now. How many times am I going to talk about this kind of crap? How many times is my foot going to be on that? Those things were really cheap at Sears. I don't know if you saw You didn't see it. It's plastic saw horses. Don't buy them. They're crap. They're dangerous. The ones at Sears especially. They were on marked down real cheap and I bought four of them. I'm thinking now I can mount that like that and this one that's in here there's actually a bracket but I don't think it's quite wide enough and that would give me more light in the room, in the room when the doors are open Well, I could use that adapter if I wanted to, but in that position. <laughs> I might do it. Wanting, that light was never very good being all the way up there on the ceiling. Let's see what would happen if I decided to do that. Let's see, where's those other bulbs? Other light fixtures. They don't have all the brackets with them. Of course, I could just have one at least. Well, of course, I could just. It's not like, I mean, they might have been nice at one point, but now they're just old. I could run the screws straight through that thing into a pretty thick metal, but I, could, I got some self tapping screws. I'll turn it out that way so that I, so that I don't keep get, I don't get hung on that. That's going to be, one of these fixtures will be way safer than, well, I'm thinking this double fixture, this is actually kind of a nice fixture, but I don't know, you know, when I would actually really want to use it, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's not, it's kind of a brass color, and it's just dusty. It actually could be cleaned up and be really nice. Got a lot of places for it to come loose. Kind of like this, but uh, let me measure that. This this bracket that's in here. I don't know if this other one that I have is any longer. I think it might be. No, I guess they're a standard length. It's exactly the same length. So actually, I can just stick this up there to see what will fit. Uh, I like the idea of having two bulbs there, actually. But... Uh, I think I got just enough room to run this into stuff to have some screws in there. So I can actually hang it that way. And then you can use a nut and a bowl. It'd easy, be easier to mark it at least like that. I was kind of hoping it would reach to those holes that already do. Really, except to have some screws to do that. You probably can't hear me. Self tapping screws can go from the bottom and then. Or I could use nuts and bolts and hang it from the top. I mean, it's not going to be heavy enough to be dangerous. Not this one. This one, I think, really would be dangerous just hanging there like that. You could. That's something you're liable to reach up there and grab and get shocked on. I'm not going to use that one. So it's either one of those black ones or this one. And it has a bracket just like that in already in it. Uh, Almost reach that on off switch if I was using the toggle switch or this push button switch. <coughs> but I really can't reach it. <coughs> so, uh, 